when we look at this colorful mosaic, it's supposed to be a dog. I'm not sure if I see that or not, but maybe. We see 12 different shapes. These shapes are called polygons. And there's two major kinds of polygons. There are quadrilaterals, which means it has four sides. So all of the shapes that have four sides are polygons. So one is a polygon. Two has four sides, so it's a polygon. Three has three sides. Four is a polygon. Five has three sides. Six has four sides. So if we go through all of them, we'll see that we have six, eight, nine, ten, and I'm going to put twelve down here. Those are all the four-sided figures or quadrilaterals. Now everything below that under the quadrilaterals up to here are still quadrilaterals, but they're specialized. I'm just going to jump to this special one called the square. When I look around and I try to find the square, I only see one square out of all of the four-sided figures. A square has to have two pairs of parallel sides and all sides are equal. And the measures are 90 degrees. Number one, whoops, number one. That's the only polygon that is a square. Now rectangles also have angles of 90 degrees. They're parallel sides. So a square is still a rectangle. It's a specialized rectangle. Again, if I look around, I see another rectangle. Number 10 is a rectangle because it has right angles all the way around. And that is the key. As I work my way up, a rhombus is very much like a square. A rhombus, we still have parallel sides. All sides are equal, just like a square. And the opposite angles are equal. So when I look at number two, and I, if I took a ruler and I measured these, this measurement and this measurement and this measurement and this measurement would all be the same. Obviously it's not a square, it is a rhombus. Now there is a special rhombus and that is a square. A square is a rhombus as well. It just happens that all of the angles are 90 degrees. Now a parallelogram is, I like to think of it as a rectangle that's been shifted. So again we have two pairs of parallel sides in a parallelogram. So all of the ones that we've already talked about would be parallelograms as well as number 9. So number 9 is a parallelogram because this angle and this angle are congruent. These two angles are congruent. These lines are parallel and these lines over here are parallel as well. So number 9 is a parallelogram and number 10 which is a rectangle is also a parallelogram and if we continue with trapezoids a trapezoid has one pair of parallel sides. So when we look at number 12 these sides are parallel. The other ones aren't. So 12 would be a parallelogram, or sorry, a trapezoid. Now some people would argue that some trapezoids, or all parallelograms are trapezoids as well, but if this one says it has exactly one pair of parallel sides, then I believe 12 would be the only one. 
let's see oh number six as well so there's a couple different def different definitions for a trapezoid and I like the one where it has exactly one pair of parallel sides when we look at the triangles now we could have triangles that are simply three-sided three-sided figures and our triangles would be numbers three five seven and eleven and now when we want to give these more specific names I'm going to start at the bottom one the right triangle the one that has a right angle in it would be eleven and that would be the only one that is a right triangle now the obtuse triangle the obtuse triangle is the one that has an angle that's bigger than 90 degrees so that would be number five where an acute angle means all the angles are less than 90 degrees so let's see if I can find those ones number three they're all less than 90 degrees and where's the other one number seven they're all less than 90 degrees three and seven now an equilateral triangle you can see the word equal there means all the sides are equal and all the angles are equal that would be number three an isosceles isosceles means we have two sides that are equal now in number seven this side this angle sorry and this angle are the same this side and this side are the same length so that's what an isosceles triangle would look like so that is number seven now you could argue that an equilateral triangle which has three sides the same or is also an isosceles triangle and lastly a scalene triangle has no equal sides or angles so that would be probably the one that's left now where is that one looks like number five number five and number eleven means no sides are the same length and that is a a summary of the polygons three-sided and four-sided polygons